Okay. Wax mold. I'm not even going to talk about that. Now, which one is your finger? Is that one? I'm going to make it a size 10. Just here. A little bit over size 10. That was not 10. Yours, that was, that's the one you gave me, just slightly bigger. All right. Got to make the mold a little bigger. And background noises are not. Sorry. How you get a magician girl into a elevator? Right, so we need to fill that up now with wax. You can use blue wax stripes like that, or I've got some small stuff like that. I know, I love it. It's so nice. Lots of different ways to do this. This is just the way that I do it. Anything that's heated up will melt. Fill it up like that. Let it harden. So now that it's going to fit just slightly over size 10, inside also needs to get filled up a bit. So I'm going to melt a little bit more of the blue wax on there. You take it. 32. <laughs> so once we have our mold, you can spend a lot of time filing it if you like. If you want it, anything that it looks like when it's done or when we actually make the cast, it will look exactly like this. So if you take more time now, you don't have to do that. So I'm gonna get rid of some of the wax just with the file. Ooh. If you don't do this, you could be spending more time actually doing it out of silver and that wastes, or silver, gold, whatever material you're using. I'm not gonna worry about it because this is just a demo video. And this ring isn't for me, so who cares? It's for him, ha. All right, I got, this right here, attach that in. In order for it to stay in there, because right now it's all wobbly, I'm using some molding wax. That holds it in place like that. Okay, so once we have the ring attached, all right, so it doesn't fall out, we've got to be careful of air bubbles catching underneath. It's all going to be hidden underneath here. We want to make sure it's at least half an inch from the top. So when we cover this all with our, our uh, it's not plaster, it's called investment, it has to be strong enough to give it a nice lid on top. Okay. Which will be the next step. Okay, sometimes you won't have a long sprue like this. Sometimes it won't come with one. I'm gonna cut it off and show you how. To oh, who did that? That was me. That was Mr. Holbrook. Watch yourself. All right. 
I'm just gonna cut that off. Sometimes it won't be very long. So we need it to be, that won't be long enough when we actually do the mold. So I'm gonna attach some red sprue wax to here. Doing that, we're gonna use some sticky wax. Easiest way to do this is to heat up the sticky wax, either with the scalpel or knife, whatever. Scrape some off. Or you can, you know, melt it, put it on here. Or you can actually melt the sticky wax or the candle, and then just kind of squish them together. It's called sticky wax because it's sticky. What's brown and sticky? A stick. Okay. So, see all that stuff on there. Heat it up again a little bit, not so that it drips off, and just stick it. All right, so there's that, like this. I'm gonna add a little bit of black molding wax around it just as, to make it easier. Kind of rolling it up like that. I call it like a scarf almost. I'm gonna wrap it around where the two waxes are connected. So it's put together like that. And then this, after I heat up the wax, can chop it down. I can put that right into here, like that. So here it is about half an inch from the top of this can looking thing. You can use a tin can, soup can. These ones I actually bought, but you could just make it out of any old pipe, as long as it's gonna be able to be watertight, essentially, to hold the powder mixture that we're putting on the inside. Okay, so that's the mixture of powder. I just have a little mixing bowl. I use the tin can thing here to measure how much powder I need. I usually fill it up completely and add about a third extra. I'm gonna mix it with water and stir it till it's like pancake batter. All right. Mix it up, yummy. Don't drink this. If it's too um, too liquidy, it's going to take longer to dry. If it's too hard, it dries too quickly, and you can lose detail in your mold. So this one, this is not bad. I'm going to add just a little bit more powder to it. And pour very gently into the molds. Try not to overflow it. Slow down once you get to the top. Give it a little shake to make sure the bubbles are all out. Fill it all the way up to the top. And oops, okay. It's just more of a mess, it doesn't matter. And we're gonna tap it for about five to 10 minutes until it goes hard and all the bubbles arise to the top. Okay, so by keep tapping it, it's going to bring all the bubbles to the top. You can buy big fancy machines to do this for you, but no reason to spend a thousand dollars when you have a screwdriver to do this for you. Keep on tapping, man. Oh, sorry, I got distracted. Yeah, we keep tapping until it's hard.
Once I get my uh, the oven on, I let it go up to about 1,200 degrees, so you can see it still has a little ways to go, right up to that black mark.